Hey guys, it's your girl Roxy. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. So as you guys can see by the thumbnail and of course the title, I'm going to be transforming my hair into this nice cute red ponytail. Yes, so I've been wanting to try this style for a long time now, so I'm finally going to do it. I am going to be um, uh, using some bundles that I have left over from another brand um, that I collaborated with, Supernova Hair. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I get this cute little, well I'm hoping it's going to be cute, um, cute little ponytail, um, red with no color, no dye, none of that, um, just keep on watching. So yeah, I'm going to jump right in. I'm not going to show you guys how I put my hair in a ponytail because I recently did a video. If you go over a couple videos um, previous, then you'll see um, how I, in detail, slick up my hair, my short hair, into a nice, slick, tight little ponytail. So um, go watch that if you, if you need to refer to it. If your hair is long and you can catch your, your hair in a ponytail, then just, you know, put your hair in a ponytail. Keep watching, guys. Um, yeah, we're going to get started now. So I'm back with my hair slick up in a ponytail. Um, I used this edge control here that I bought at my beauty supply store. First touchdown. So I literally picked up any one that I saw that I thought was good. It said ultimate touch. So, you know, I figured that it would give me the best hold. So I just used that to slick up my ponytail on my dry hair. I did my makeup, of course, you can see. Um, I don't know. I was trying to do like neutral. I, I didn't do any eyeshadow because I knew my hair is going to be red. Um, I'm using, I'm wearing uh, Wasaga Twirl from MAC Lipstick, from MAC's Matte Lipstick Collection. And yeah, um, so yeah, let's just get this started. Um, yeah, so the, what I'm going to do first is put in the actual ponytail. So it's this color here. Um, I'll leave the details in the description box below from where I got these, for where I got these bundles. Um, so it's from Supernova. I made a, a video previously on this. I used this same hair to make my um, lace frontal wig. Um, so yeah, so it's from Supernova. It's their burgundy hair. So it comes already dyed red. This is their body wave. I can't remember what inch this is. This is probably their 18 inch. And I have a little bit extra from some from another bundle that I was using. So I'm going to use this to make my ponytail. Okay. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to keep the wefts doubled. So it already comes doubled like when I unravel it. I'm just, I'm just going to keep it like that so that it's faster and it's easier anyways. So as you guys know, I like to start with my anchor like this. And I'm just going to wrap it around the base here. And I'm going to take a bobby pin and then just place it into the anchor. Okay, now I'm just going to start wrapping the hair around the bun. As I'm wrapping it, I'm just going to be adding some bobby pins throughout the base of my ponytail. So just attaching the wefts to my bun. Okay, and then at the end of the weft, I'm just going to take a little piece again, like I did at the beginning, and then, and then just wrap it around the base. The ponytail is in. Now I'm just going to take some hair at the base 
to wrap it around so that it kind of gives it some height and to hide the tracks. Okay, so this is literally just one bundle. I think I'm going to leave it as one bundle. And I was contemplating whether I should uh, straighten it, flat iron it straight, or if I should just add some curls to it. So, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add some curls. Okay, so I'm going to take my... Um, Curling wand, this is the, I believe this is the half inch curling wand. This is from Red by Kiss. Okay, all right, so this is the curl that I get. I just want to make sure that this is the curl I want once I loosen it, and I think so. So I'm just going to continue that throughout the rest of my ponytail. Just whip it through real quick. And it's easier to, um, it's better to curl, it's easier to curl body wave here because it already has like you know, the wave and the body and the texture to it. So it kind of helps the curls look more full and last longer. This hair curls so quick and so easy. I don't, I'm not even leaving the curling wand on it for more than 30 seconds. Because you know, your girl gets lazy sometimes. <laughs> So, it's all curled now. I don't like it all organized and all, you know, stuck together like this. So I'm just going to first add some holding spray. Some got to be free spray. Alright, and I'm just going to separate them with my fingers. Like this. This is looking like a deep wave of some sort. So just separating them so it's not so perfect. I want a kind of messy look. And for the root, just to give it some more height, I'm going to tease the top here. So I'm back combing and this kind of just gathers up some hair at the root so that it gives it some height. Okay, so it's starting to look a little bit better now since I finger combed it. So now for the start of the show, we need to get this here, a red color to match this. So what I'm using today is Jerome Russell. So it's Jerome Russell Temp Dry. It's a temporary hair color spray and it's in the color red wine. Yes. So it's basically a temporary hair color spray. Um, yeah, this is pretty old. Like I used to see this, I used to see this growing up. My mom used to use it on her hair. Like when she used to do her finger waves, they used to add color. They have like, they have like pink, blue, every every different color in the rainbow. So yeah, I'm gonna use this. Um, hopefully, it matches this exactly the way I like it. 
So yeah, let's do this. Ooh, you guys see that? Oh shit. Okay, you see that red color? So this is, it's pretty close. It's a little bit on the brighter side, but I'm loving the fact that, you know, it's making my hair, you know, look like it's been colored without actually coloring it. Ooh, I'm kind of liking this. All right, so I'm liking the fact that I don't have to do like all the way on, on my hairline because it can kind of give it that ombre effect. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue spraying it. It would really help if I had somebody here with me to spray the back, but you know, sometimes you gotta just feel for what you're doing, you know? Woo. Wow. Ooh, this is kind of cool. I really, ooh. Okay, I really like this. I'm not sure. I hope the camera is picking up the true color, but it's pretty. It's pretty intense. It's pretty nice. So I'm spraying some of the hair too because I want it to kind to really match, um, like my my like the spray. So I'm just pressing it in with my fingers just to take off some of the intensity of the color but it's I literally got my hair this color in less than one minute so wow I don't know what took me so long to just try this but this is kind of cool oh my gosh this is amazing I'm gonna put on some earrings because you know I have to accessorize I'm gonna put on my girl gang earrings yeah, I think I think this hairstyle calls for some hoops. So I got these I got these earrings from Creative Beauty. Um, I'll leave their information below. Um, yeah, so some simple girl gang hoops. This is pretty cute. So I mean, tell me tell me if you guys would try this look or try this method, I should say, with the hair color. Um, yeah, let me know below. I really like this. Um, the only thing I would do differently, guys, uh, I'm not in love with the curls that I created, but um, I'd probably uh, straighten the ponytail, wear a straight one, or just get a different curl. I'm, yo, I'm even acting different. This is weird. Okay, so I would straighten it. I would maybe um, do a different curl, maybe get a, a looser curl. Uh, yeah, so, but besides that, I love the method. I love how the red is just blending with the ponytail no bleach no color like what are you crazy are you crazy like look at that this is so cute and definitely when you're using this spray i would make sure that you're in an open area it does have that kind of scent um you know like when you're when you're using spray paint it kind of has that fumey scent but it's not it's not crazy heavy but you still want to have like be in an open area where like there's you know air circulation coming through because you don't want to just stay breathing and breathing that in okay so i think i'm i think i'm liking it more off to the side here right okay so you definitely have to play with it a little bit well for me i had to play with it a little bit to get it to my liking but the good thing with the ponytail you can always change it up straighten it do looser curls you know put it in a bun braid it down you know it's pretty flexible but anyway, I'm so in love with this method here and I'm just loving this red burgundy color. I've done it before, but you know when you haven't done something in a long time and you don't and you don't think it's gonna, you know, look as good as it did before. But girl, I'm loving this. If you guys love this method too, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more short hair transformations. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.